Welcome to Cat Debt Works version 2.5, Tutorial 4, Performing a Sensitivity Analysis. To begin, we will open the file we saved in Tutorial 3. We do this by clicking File, selecting Open from the drop down menu, and choosing Tutorial 3. For this tutorial, we will be using the September 2007 Costing Database. We make this selection from the drop down Equipment Costing Database list. Additionally, we are going to go back to the Design Override tab in the Complete Mix Activated Sludge window and uncheck the Override Design checkbox. At this point, we will need to update our cost estimate by clicking the Estimate Cost of Current Layout button. To perform a sensitivity analysis, we go to Cost Analysis on the taskbar and select Sensitivity Analysis from the drop-down menu. In the Sensitivity Analysis window, we select Influent Wastewater from the Process drop-down menu. Then, from the Parameter drop-down menu, we select Average Flow. Under the Range settings, there is a low and a high setting. There are two ways to set this value, either by using the slider or typing into the text box. For this example, we will set the low value to 12,500 and the high value to 150,000. To run the sensitivity analysis, we click the Run Analysis button. Once the graph appears, we notice that of the six lines, only two are visible. To view the other lines, we click the Decrease Scale button until they come into view. To increase the scale, the Increase Scale button can be used. Or, if the whole graph needs to be seen, click the Reset Scale button. Below the scale buttons, there's a button that toggles the legend on and off. In the bottom left hand corner, there are two buttons, one a copy image button and the other a print button. These buttons are helpful when using the graphs in reports and presentations. In this example, we showed the impact of average flow on the entire plant, but it is also possible to examine the impact of a parameter on an individual process. In this next example, we will select primary clarifier from the process menu and surface overflow rate from the parameter menu. Click Run Analysis to create the sensitivity graphs. Again, only two lines are visible and the Decrease Scale button needs to be clicked a few times to view the other four lines. Notice that there is not much of a change in price due to the surface overflow rate when we look at the entire plant. However, when we look at the process impact, we can see a significant decrease in the cost with higher surface overflow rate. We are now going to put this graph in a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. Click the Copy to Clipboard button and go into our presentation. There we right click and paste the picture onto a slide. This feature makes getting the data and graphs out of CAP Networks quick and easy. Additionally, it makes presenting the data to clients very simple. The last thing we are going to do is save our layout. We do this by clicking on File and selecting Save As from the drop down menu. We will call this layout Tutorial 4. This completes Tutorial 4 of Cap Networks version 2.5. Thank you for watching this Cap Networks tutorial. If you are interested in our other software products, such as GPSX for wastewater modeling and simulation, Toxchem for predicting toxic fate and emissions, or WattPro for drinking water treatment modeling, you can visit our website at www.hydromantis.com.